still go mid for noobs at least, compared to the last one. Yeah, I mean, neither of these teams can really sit around and do nothing. You have to be aggressive, you have to try and get that advantage as we get into this one. And yeah, seeing that adaptation coming in from the Giants is pretty much what we wanted to see here. Is for now on Corky, safe pick, and he's gonna walk straight into the push. This I don't feel is going to work out too well for him in the near future. We'll be putting up the heal. Has been ignited though, still ticking down. Needs one more auto coming in. That's first blood over to the Ola. Despite the mobs not winning too many games, because it was so aggressive. Let's talk about it after, because that's a fight in mid. Oh, the flash into the body slam as well. Pepe Nero and Frederick dropping low, but so is Nuke Dog. The flash into the taunt. Pepe Nero is locked down into the body slam, getting CC'd for days. Rocket returned with two fast kills. So Rome, we see Godfrey mid lane. Vanda still sitting mid because there's no flash in Diana this time around, still no wards, and this time, Pepinero, you're not getting out. No, I've seen this one before, but last time he had flash, this time he doesn't. That means a dead Pepinero. Possible in the one on ones. So Vander is possibly aggressively here, but there comes the Gangplank ultimate as well. He'll be going underneath the turret. That's a level three. Godfrey just wandered in. He'll have to go back to the turret where it is raining cannonballs, and Steve will pick up that kill from downtown. The three versus three, but you got the range advantage and the TP advantage. Cannonballs are coming down. Yanka's coming in from the sidelines. There's Steve as well. Flash comes into the body slam, does not connect onto Olaf. Meanwhile, Frederick is trading up against Vanda. He's definitely winning that fight, but now he wants to try and get out of it. Jankos coming forwards. Did use his ultimate there, didn't get a whole lot from it. Wurlip just coming in from the sidelines, gets blown up. Frederick looking for the same fate, will be chomped and eaten for the double kill coming in for Nuke Dog. Now Godfrey and Pepe Nero still in this fight, turning around. Can Pepe Nero get anything from this? He's completely out of mana and will pop one last Lunar Rush before he also bites the dust. That's a free for zero. Rocker taking control of this game. From his deep though, might get dove. Frederick's going in at least. Yeah, that minion wave is dissipating, but Steve will flash away here back underneath this turret. But Wallop is there to meet him. Frederick will just back away, tanking that turret mid lane, just trading off a little as well. You had TP ready for Vander. Jengus goes in, there's no flash on the Diana. It's a very easy dive for you to pull off. And this time. Finch has picked up, but Nuke Duck has found Pepe Nero here, pops the ultimate as well. But now the rest of the Giants is there to counter, but maybe not because Pepe Nero is already dead. Vanna comes into the fight, Willow's there with the Ragnarok, now he has to back away. Steve popping down his ultimate, the Cannon Barrage raining down on top of those minions. Still will be difficult for him to be Soul Split Pusher because of Vanna's ulti. And then there we go, see it in action. Yep, following after Whirlip, there comes the jump. The waters actually lands onto Whirlip as the Ragnarok comes down. Taunt comes across as well. Got the extra damage from the Urchin Strike. Frederick and Godfrey are here to counter. Nuke Duck will be dropping low, but not before the Olaf goes down. One for one so far. Pepe Nero comes into the fight, gets that shut down. Jankos following off to Pepe Nero. No team behind him though. And Godfrey is there to defend. So that we have seen, I mean, Fired Will came in from, uh, from Huni as his first upgrade source when Ooh. Death's Daughter. See what Steve goes for. Now Nuke Duck is fighting again. I mean, he got Adri, but it was basically all in. There was no exit plan. It was like, I want Adri. Clear out some of these tunnels. And just gearing up because there is a dragon in 10 seconds and a dead vandal would not help that cause for Rocket. He's gonna get over the wall. Max range on that shadow dash will get him to safety. Oh, oh the <laughs> Rallis tried to get in range for his heal, but wasn't close enough. In the end, Vander. It is not wise to invade into the enemy jungle on your own to set up wards. Bring a friend, you got the Gragas. <laughs> Even as beer, take him with you. <laughs> Bring him back, buddy. Go on a picnic, you know, and that's some nice damage Oh, Steve. Steve has caught Pepe Nero. You have nowhere to roam that cannon barrage. Whirlup now going for this fight. He's on Nuke Dog. In comes with the reckless swing as well. Frederick and Adria are gonna eat Rallis alive. Meanwhile, Yanko's going one on two, but he can make this happen. <laughs> He's Gragas. And now Godfred is just in the middle of the, of the wolf camp. He's gonna try and get away. He's already popped his ultimate. Steve comes and flashes. Tries ah, to get the chain, no. doesn't quite land it. Kill these minions before you, and then you stick in that mid lane for most of the time, and you join team fight. Oh, body slam flash. Good cask as well, knocks Adri into the team, and he'll also get CC'd down by Vanda. Rallas will find that first kill. Pepe Nero now following up into Vanda. He'll flash away over the wall. Godfrey may be caught out, but meanwhile, Steve is there to meet Pepe Nero. P pacing down those barrels, we'll get him with the second one. What are you gonna do against the parrot? Not a whole lot. We're Willip now trying to back away. We'll have to use a defensive Ragnarok to get out of there. Got a tower. Or do we find people out of position like Adri? 
Oh, that works too. Rales over the wall, Adri, but you can't run from the ship. Or maybe you can keep on running, Adri. You can make it. Oh! Oh! Once again. But Rales breaking the rule. The 280 carries are supposed to only kill the minions in the mid lane and uh, about the side lane. The ship will upgrade. Pirate will. Mm. There we go. Done. Less now damage. Now into a fight. <laughs> Less damage in the early stages. Now Frederick is getting jumped on. Well, he's on the receiving end. All that damage from Gangplank gets blown up by that barrel, but it's Nuke took the one coming in for the kill. And now he goes into the Zonias, but will quickly be taken down. Yanko's tanking up this turret, but he'll be backing away. We're not aiming for five dragons anyway here. We want to get more gold because taking our top lane tower really also opens up that jungle. So we can start setting up for Baron instead. And now all they got to do is make sure they don't fight on the bottom side for Rocket. They might even be able to push him for another tower. They have insane damage. Trinity Force, passive from Gangplank, his own Trinity Force. Vanda is buying time for the team. Yeah, Rallis just interrupted both of those recalls and then Jans were like, let's go all in for Vanda, tower. but you just lost top lane. Frederick now coming in, Godfrey looking for the engage, but there's not a whole lot of members there because they were all stopped by Vanda. Very quickly, Pivno goes in for it. He's gone, he's going in. Oh, new drug dropping low. Where's and there's Vander? the ultimate coming in. Oh, Vander didn't get to the barrage. But the true damage doesn't connect. Now the teleport's coming in. Whirlip's gonna be there first. Nuke Dog gets away with the kill. Whirlip looking for this kill. It's a Nuke Dog. He finally gets him with a wreck of the swing. But two for the price of one. Rocket will take that trade. <laughs> Once again, will be one more member than Giants. Vanda is ready for that taunt. He connects it. Godfred comes into the pit. Looking for that steal. Can El Bandido do it? He goes into the pit. He may get nuked down. Not today. Yankos will smite that one away. And Frederick is just kind of awkwardly stuck in the Baron pit. Followed after. Everyone's going to flash after him. They need to take him down. And he's got gone, gone. Got gone. Unless you can first pick it yourself, you have to ban the wave. Oh, mid turret goes down, Adri and Frederick may be caught down in the bottom lane. Good knock up by Godfrey, but it's only going to buy a couple more seconds for Frederick. He'll be dropping down as well, barrels come up. Looking for the explosion, doesn't quite connect. Pepino gets stunned up by Yankos. And that's the middle turret going down, the middle inhibitor is well going down. The top inhibitor is the next in the sights of Rockat. Not sure if Giant should be fighting over this one. But no. Jumps in behind, guys. We need another fight, and it's gonna happen. He has Zonias this time, so he can nice Zonias damage. up. There it is. Steve comes in with the oranges, and Pepinero flashes over the wall. Godfred and the rest of the team is dealing with Nuke Duck, who flashes away. Frederick jumps over the wall with the tunnel. Jankos trying to get in range, just have the cask as well. There's the ultimate, knocks Whirlup into the team, gets immediately taunted. Follow up onto Adri as well, he goes down. Goodbye, Pepper Nero. Make that a free for one. Frederick recalling in that bus, he'll be going back to base, but this is two versus four. And they're down for 40 seconds. Is there any minions that are coming now? The super minions in mid lane. Rocket looking to close out another game here. A lot more action than the last one. Oh, yeah. And that was all down to the compositions, how Champion Select played out, but either way, Rocket secure yet another win, taking the first, the second Nexus turret, and the Nexus itself. This is Rocket taking game two in his best of five up against Giants.